Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we are back with another weekly Wiz video where I go over every single fragrance that I wore for all seven days last week. So if that is content that you want to see more of, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications so you're updated whenever I upload something new. But let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into it, starting with Sunday, which was Father's Day and the fragrance that I ended up going with. I wanted something classy. I wanted something that would help me remember the day and it was a special day. Let me tell you, we had a fantastic cookout here at my house. My father-in-law came by, my brother-in-law. We just had a fantastic day with the kids, our wives, and family. Scent I decided to go with is MFK's Gentle Fluidity Silver. And you guys know, if you have watched this channel for any amount of time, you know I've talked about this one quite a bit. And I know it's pricey, guys. And I always recommend trying, you know, samples of things, decanting things. I've tried a bunch from this house. This by far is one of my favorites. Has this really elegant feel to it, but in addition to that elegance is being able to stand up against the high heat. Now, this week we have had nothing but hot weather here in the Boston area. We're in a heat wave. So all these fragrances that I'm gonna be talking about today are going to be ones that are fantastic for heat waves. They are gonna work on those really sweaty days that you just feel like you might not even want to put a fragrance on, these are all going to work beautifully. Now, this has sort of a gin and tonic feel. It is sharp and classy, really high quality, and it's a memorable scent. It doesn't really smell like anything else I have. Some people claim that it smells a little bit like green Irish tweed, which I also own, and I can get those comparisons, but this for me is its own thing. Man, so happy I wore it the day that I did. And one thing I will say about performance on this, I can't believe people have said, I think the performance thing is overplayed. I can't believe people say that this doesn't last. This is an incredible performer. It wears really, I guess, lighter in terms of notes, but this is one of those ones that you spray on a shirt, a week later, if you haven't washed that shirt, it's still going to smell like Gentle Fluidity Silver. Great performer here. Love this one from MFK. Now, Monday was a very special day for me. If you're a basketball fan or even a basketball fan from Boston like myself, my Celtics won the championship. It was amazing. I got to share it with my oldest daughter. My youngest daughter actually picked my fragrance for the day. She came in. I said, why don't you pick my scent? She went to the shelf and grabbed this one scent we are talking about is Mont Blanc Starwalker. Now this one has a bamboo note. It's watery, crisp, fresh, bright, and uplifting, and it's a cheapie, and it smells fantastic. All the fragrance snobs that have something to say about inexpensive fragrances, being junk, you gotta spend all this money to smell good, it's crap. This stuff, incredible. It just has this addictive quality to it. And again, stands up to that high heat. Has a little bit of slight sweetness to it, but it's mainly woody and vibrant and just smells alive. That bamboo note has this watery greenness to it. That's just super addictive. Maybe a little metallic too. So it kind of has a little bit of an old school vibe to a 90s vibe, uh, so to speak. Really love this one. If I had to compare it to anything, I would probably compare it to Mano Fresh from Versace. It's similar in a lot of ways, although I think this one is a little bit sharper, a little bit more metallic, a little less green than the Mano Fresh. Incredible scent. Got to watch the Celtics win the championship. My daughter chanting Kyrie sucks. She asked me, the whole crowd was chanting Kyrie sucks. And she said, Daddy, what are they saying? I had to tell her. She's a Boston Celtics fan now, through and through. Mont Blanc Star Walker. Now this one was a no brainer for Tuesday. This is when we're really starting to get into the hot weather. Yeah, 90 plus the rest of the week. This is incredible. One of my favorites from the house scent I'm talking about is John Barbados XX Artisan. The other best part about this fragrance is that it is starting to pop up more and more at rack stores, mainly Marshalls, but it has this really clean vetiver kind of soapy vibe to it. It's peppery, it has a, almost a slight Coca-Cola sweetness to it. Man, just incredible stuff. It's one of my favorites from the line. And when I found this and had give, given my first impressions of it, I was blown away. I couldn't believe that I, I, I guess, didn't grab it at first. I mean, how would I have known, right? But it was one that I said, wow, I wish I had known about that one sooner. It's one of my favorites to reach for in the high heat. 
incredible stuff, and one of the better performing John Barbados's in my collection. So keep that in mind. If you like vetiver, if you like sweet Coca-Cola effervescence, this one might be for you. John Barbados, XX Artisan. Now this next one, again, another no-brainer, easy, dumb reach fragrance that Benjamin, one of my subscribers, actually sent to me. I actually own this as well. So I have two bottles of this. I might be doing a giveaway at some point. Incredible fragrance here. Scent we are talking about is Carolina Herrera's 212. Now, the can, you know, it's, I could take or leave the presentation, but it's kind of iconic at this point. But this stuff, guys, just clean, green, lavender, soapy masculinity. It's definitely really easy to grab in the high heat. It's just, it's something so smooth, luxurious, velvety to it. It's super smooth fragrance and that's what I love about it it's never harsh it is just so thought out doesn't have a ton of complexity to it don't get me wrong but what it does it does perfectly and I'm always impressed by Carolina Herrera fragrances they really are some of the best fragrances designer fragrances that you can buy really high quality unique smelling in a lot of ways and also not always the safest fragrances this one is safe I will say this one is safe but uh, it's just, again, I don't have anything like this in my collection that smells quite like this. So the fact that I kind of found this one much later after it was, had been released and was already kind of a fan favorite, I'm just so happy and uh, to be able to have this in the collection. Incredible scent. I think if you guys don't want to think too much about it, you just want to smell clean and kind of unique, this is the way to go. Carolina Herrera. 212 men. Now, Thursday, I was getting a fresh cut, and I also knew that it was going to be the hottest day of the week by far. We were, t I want to say we hit 102 where I live. Scent I decided to go with is YSL Y O Fresh. And as you can kind of see here, we got the frosted bottle. This is just the ginger note here, stunning stuff, my favorite from the line. And when I am just wanting something, to feel like I'm fighting against that heat. I still want to wear a fragrance. This is the way to go. This stuff, I, why this was discontinued, I talk about it all the time, makes zero sense to me. It's my favorite from the line. It's just bright, fresh, uplifting, mood enhancing, you know, all the, the terms that I like to use for vi really vibrant fragrances. This fits every single one, checks every box. And it has this cooling effect to it. That ginger note here mixed in with the lavender and the other notes, it just works perfectly. Now, I will say that of all the flankers in this line, this smells least like the others. So maybe that's why they discontinued it because it is a unique fragrance within the line. Till the dry down where it becomes a little more generic, a little more shower jelly, fresh scent, but I even love that part of it. Incredible stuff with fantastic longevity and performance, especially for a fresh, high heat fragrance, YSLY O Fresh. So on Friday, I did a short about this exact fragrance and guys, it's still one of my favorites. Scent we are talking about is Masoni Parfum Porom. Now you wanna talk about a scent that just is super easy to wear and smells incredible. You know, it has this grapefruit note, obviously gets compared to Blue de Chanel, but this is probably the best value blue fragrance you can buy. It's not super cheap or inexpensive in the sense that it's not sub $20, but you're probably not going to pay more than 40 for this. And you're getting a high quality presentation, magnetic cap, and the scent, the scent is not synthetic, smells incredible, smells Blue de Chanel quality to my nose. Now I will say though, this also is a little different than Blue de Chanel. It lacks that incense smoky note that Blue de Chanel has. So if you like that, you might want to lean more towards the BDC. But with this one, I wouldn't say that's the case. I think this is its standalone fragrance. It almost mixes in a little bit of Blue de Chanel with Sauvage, which isn't my favorite fragrance, but this gets a ton of compliments for me. This is just a mass pleasing blue scent. And with the bottle, it's a little misleading. You want to think this is a blue fragrance. It is a blue fragrance and it's incredible and it lasts a long time and it's cheap. Come on, just buy this one. One of the best. Masoni Parfum Porom. So finally on Saturday, it was my oldest daughter's birthday a couple days prior and 
I we had a family party for her. She had some friends over from school. So again, I wanted to reach for a special fragrance on a really hot day. This is what I decided to go with. Scent we are talking about is Parfums de Mali's Sedley. Now this is my favorite niche blue fragrance. Reminds me of a fizzy Sprite. Every time I talk about this one, I mention that because that's kind of the vibe I get here. When I smell it, when you first pop open a can of Sprite, that sweetness, that effervescent lemon lime, that's all here with the lavender and super clean, uh, just airy notes. It's not quite aquatic, just really clean lavender, smooth, put together, no rough edges, masculine, classy, high-end fragrance. PDM outdid themselves with this one. I think it's, of all the fragrances they have in their line, this is probably the most unique in that it's not an upscale version of something you already know. A lot of their fragrances take a lot of heat because they are described as, you know, fragrances you already know, like Fierce from Abercrombie & Fitch. Percival is a higher quality niche version of Fierce. A lot of people describe it as that. Uh, and other fragrances in the line. This one is a unique take on a fragrance. So doesn't smell like anything else I've smelled. I know there's Tarathi Blue and di different Middle Eastern clones of this scent. I have not tried Tarathi Blue. If you guys tell me that's a great clone, I believe you. But I already own this one and I love this one. And one of the best performers in my collection for a fresh scent. Absolute monster. Last two weeks on clothes if I haven't washed them yet. Incredible performer. Compliments. If that's what you guys care about. If a compliment makes you feel good about what you're wearing or makes you feel good about yourself, embrace it. This gets them. Parfums de Miley's, Sedley. That's it, guys. A special week. All seven fragrances that I wore in the high heat. Would love to know what you guys wore this week. Drop it in the comment section down below. I always love hearing what you guys are wearing. If you like what we saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video.